Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our commanding general, Brigadier General Jason L. Morris, I'd like to welcome you to the Marine Corps Recruit Depot and the Western Recruiting Region. I'm Colonel Joseph W. Jones. I'm the Recruit Training Regiment's commanding officer. And I, along with my Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Paul Agin, have the great privilege of being here for the motivation run for Charlie Company. It's a beautiful day here in San Diego. I've had the opportunity to visit with many of the families during the Family Days events here. And this motivation run represents the culminating event for uh, the Marines of Charlie Company in their training here at Recruit Training. It has been my pleasure to observe these Marines over the course of many weeks here at Recruit Training. They've been instilled in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And through the efforts of our drill instructors and officers, they've been made into United States Marines. I've had the pleasure of meeting with many of the families that are here. And we're excited that we have the opportunity to bring them back. What I've communicated to them is that they are the ones who provided us the raw material in which our drill instructors then developed and honed into the United States Marines, thoroughly indoctrinated in the love of our core country and have fully accepted our core values. It's only through the families and their support that we're able to do what we do. So I extend to them and to you virtually my congratulations and my sincere thanks for what you've done to support what we've done here. In this process, we can only get this done through our drill instructors, the Marines who make great sacrifice in time, effort, and energy, and really are the examples of what it is to be a United States Marine. It's the time that they spend with the recruits here and working through the transformation process that allows us to do what's done in this environment. They also make great sacrifice time and away from their families. So to the families that support their Marines in this environment, I thank you very much. The training here is intense. It must be, for we as Marines are not only charged with fighting our nation's battles, we're expected to win. So these Marines have been trained and evaluated. Water survival, marksmanship, academics, they've been instilled in our histories and traditions and they've earned the title United States Marines. And they represent the next vanguard of Marines who will go forth and do great things for our nation. So I congratulated them on their efforts here, and I've been one of the first to say, job well done. <laughs>